you were getting tattoos all this time too or yeah 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 i think tattoos it's all about um uh, uh short myself you know self-destruction um, so do you regret some of them of all of them i hate tattoos mm. i hate tattoos so much I, I i like a woman without tattoos so you feel like you're doing it to take away some of the pain like the internal pain and uh, do I external s- pain i stopped to do it yeah. since i got clean uh now i just um remove remove them yeah. i removed all my neck and all my face yeah, so how much more of your face do you have? Because I noticed you have this thing right here that here. is... Here. Oh, so right there too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and all the neck, almost you, a black heart. You, that must hurt It really was all bad. black on almost your neck? Almost a black heart. How yeah. have you gotten it gone so well? I mean, uh, you still see some red in it's there, a, but... It's a good leather. It's called Pika. Pika, Pika leather. It's okay. from Japan. Very good leather. And mm-hmm. you just want to completely... Are you planning to get rid of all of them? No, of or? course not. It's impossible. No, it's so much right. money, so much time, but... So what made you want to tattoo animal slut on your arm? Oh, it's, it's just for tattoo. It's for Really? Yeah. So for the you thought that it would be good advertising? Yeah, 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 of course. Uh, uh, we decided with my boyfriend. So Anna here. Then um, here, I have a tattoo insert here. Whoa. <laughs> it's like for the coin machine. Here. I mean, it's if like you're making insert. videos on Pornhub, it's a pretty good way to brand yourself yeah, yeah, and yeah, be a course. thumbnail that pops out against yeah. all the other thumbnails. I've always respected the girls who got their name tattooed on the back of their thighs so that <laughs> no matter like what... It? Adam actually hates tattoos on girls, so he's lying, but... I wouldn't say hate it, Wait, but... wait, wait where you hate tattoos exactly? Well, it's like he would never want me to get tattoos. There's a lot of really bad tattoos. That's the issue. Like, some girls do tattoos really well, and they pull them off. Okay, and w- but- when I met her, I told her, I'm like, you don't have tattoos, don't get any. I and I'm glad that I knew that, even though at the time I wasn't in the porn game, but I, I knew that it was okay, probably Adam, not a good idea in the long run. The husband, the, my future husband, he's not going to get have any tattoo. Really? Uh, so you it don't kind even of like it on say, men? Like you like her because she doesn't have any tattoos and this is a man that I want to choose for myself, the man without tattoo. Because I think all this tattoo is, I'm sorry, maybe maybe in your life is different, but it's it's not healthy. Do you feel like you have a really phenomenal butthole when it comes to doing anal? No, they're all the buttholes quite similar. Oh, I totally disagree. When there's re- There's different buttholes out yeah? there. Okay, my can gape. Okay. There's buttholes out there that are really not meant for anal, I believe. And then there's buttholes oh, that yeah. are great for anal. Like that you could do anal on a Tuesday at 3 o'clock with no warning and there's not going to be any kind of shit but, or anything. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I never see different that many different buttholes, you understand? So I don't have something to compare But with. it's like the feeling when you insert a finger to the butthole. I don't think it's like you could just tell from looking at the butthole. I think it's like how easily it opens up. But yeah. sometimes I look at a butthole and I'm like, oh yeah, that thing's been through some shit. Okay. <laughs> That's one thing. No pun intended, but... <laughs> Because you just you're presenting yourself like this anal queen with the tattoo. I love anal. The... This is only sex I can have orgasm from. Really? Mm-hmm. Okay, I know why. I mean, like when there's something getting inside my ass. First of all, I think about that, like, oh my god, there's something inside my ass. It should not be there. There's nothing should to be in my ass. It's also made for things in. You understand? And the things about it is like <laughs> makes me come. Wow. She likes the thrill of it. There is something about anal. <gasps> oh, there's something special about that. No, I love it so much. <laughs> when she reached out to me, but I, I didn't see her message that she messaged me um, in August when she first got here, which I want to talk about how you got here. She messaged me saying, I only do anal. And then I saw her message a couple of months later. I was like, but can we also do, do vaginal? Sex. Like, yeah. you know. Are you nervous about doing vaginal sex today? Uh... It's going to be a little different. Yeah, I'm not nervous. I'm curious. How it's gonna be? I don't have vaginal since very long. Really? Like how long? I don't know. Maybe forever. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I don't know, guys. I'm joking. I don't know. I don't know when I have a vaginal. I don't know. Do you still have a boyfriend right now? No, of course not. Fuck oh, a boyfriend. Okay. Fuck a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay, no, tell no. us about how you came here. Cause... Okay, I came here by crossing border with Mexico. So I've been in Moscow. I pack all my shoes and all my bags. I took a plane, I fly from Mo- Moscow to Istanbul, Istanbul, Mexico City. Then I spent one month in the Mexico City. Then I took a small plane to the border with Texas with all my four Samsung line luggages, Balintiak, Gucci, you know. I have a vape, and you know, and I come on the border and I'm like, hello, I want to be American. 
<laughs> and there's been a full of the immigrants, like poor people, you know. And it's been so ridiculous that I'm standing there as well. With all your yeah. designer yeah. shit yeah, you at know? the border. And yeah. there's like all these poor people trying to cross. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been fun. And then uh, they like, uh, do you like Putin? I say, I hate Putin. <laughs> Welcome to America. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> That's what? All it takes. I promise to you. And was your daughter with you? No, my daughter has a French nationality. She so doesn't need visa. She uh, came here by herself, by plane, alone. Oh, wow. Her father put her on a plane in Paris, and then she just come to LA. Wow, okay. The French, the European people don't need okay. visa, you know. But so you are free to stay here, even though you yeah, snuck asked, in through Mexico. Okay. <laughs> so no, uh, I asked for political asylum. I said, oh, hello? Okay. okay, so you're here yeah, on yeah, asylum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, so... So what happens the second you get inside? What, what will you do then with all your bags and all your shit? Ah, okay, I'll, I booked the Hilton, of course. I went to the Hilton. Okay. <laughs> and just life just starts. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then I took a plane to the LA. And then, um, yeah, life just started. Now I already have my, I, four months I'm here. I have my security. I have full coverage, free insurance that government give it to me. Uh, I know some of you guys don't even have it, you know. Yeah. What, I mean, health I'm, insurance? Yes. Yeah, Being full coverage. Is a, Can you imagine? Tough. You said you had security? Security social. Social, social security oh, number. Okay. She has one. She, she's legit. Yeah, I have she's... everything. Work permits, everything. It's actually so easy to get all these papers here. So, and I have a lawyer also. And we applied to political asylum. And my court, my hearing, yeah, hearing in the court, it's going to be in July 2028. Okay. What? Can you imagine 2020? They're booking it that far in, in advance. five years. So it's almost New Year's right now. It'll be four years after yeah. that, or f four and nine months. So you that. can never return to Russia? Never. I will lose my Russian nationality. You will lose your Russian nationality or American nationality? I will lose my Russian nationality. Okay, as soon if they will uh, say, okay, you can, uh, we uh, agree, you, you, we, how to say, like, uh, they will accept my political... Um... They'll swear you in as a citizen, basically. Yeah, and, I, will get yeah. You, I will become American one day. Okay, but if you go back, you'll... I can't go back. They will put me in jail in Russia. Okay. I'm a bad girl. Wow. <laughs> so... oh, they, they put in jail, 12 years in jail, if you're LGBTQ community. So do you qualify? Yeah. Because you've probably eat, eaten a lot of pussy on camera exactly. and whatnot. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Fuck Putin. 12 years in jail. Can you imagine, guys? 12 years imagine? for eating some pussy. That's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. Okay. How do you actually get into the porn world once you're in America? Okay. I don't start to, I don't start to shoot professional porn yet. Okay. Okay. So, because I need the agent. Right. And um, since I start porn, there's only one agent I want to work with. Or maybe it will change. I don't know. We will see. Um, Mark Spiegler. Spiegler, okay. yeah. It's a man the who girl. can make me famous easily. Mm. This is the man who know how to sell inked, inked girls with mm. tattoo. Okay. I've been waiting for this moment when I will give him a call for three years of my life. Can you imagine? I've been waiting for this moment. Is that the first call you make when you get to America? <laughs> no, I just <laughs> did it a couple of weeks ago. So, and then I got my, first I got my work permit, you know, I got my American ID card, my security social, LLC. So, like, I'm ready to call Mark Spiegler. You're serious? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I don't want to be just like, uh, I, hello? I'm like, hello, Mark. I'm like, this is not a Mark. This is a George. And I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck George is? <laughs> George is his man. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like. I I prepared I prepared a speech <laughs> to Mark, and then nobody told me that the, the George gonna pick up the phone. I've been I've been speaking with a lot of people about Mark and everything. Nobody told me that, that some George is existing. And then the George like, how? First the question, how old are you? And I'm like, excuse me. They have to ask you that Would first. You use it's not polite to ask a woman how old are you? Yeah, but they're like, what if she's 17 calling yeah. up the phone? If you're managing her porn career, <laughs> pretty important know question. How old she is. Really, we should be checking your ID and whatnot. He was just assuming that you were going to be polite and let him know. <gasps> okay, if I asked you your age right now, would you be offended? Oh, yeah, I'm 
25 years old. Okay. Okay, but even that is kind of like useful information to them because all right, think about it. If you're Mark Spiegler, what's the number one you want to number one thing you want to avoid? You probably want to avoid finding somebody who's kind of like young and immature. Like that's going to kind of create a lot okay. more boundaries okay. Okay. and okay. obstacles maybe, in your yeah, mind. Yeah, maybe because I have a trauma about my age. That's why I took it like it offends me. Yeah. Trauma about your age. Yeah, I think I'm fucking old. I hate. You feel old? Fuck that shit, I hate it. I feel you, I'm 40, I feel old as fuck. Your skin is tight as fuck, I think you it's look good. It's a Botox, my dear, come on. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> she looks great, when I get Botox, I don't look like that. Okay, continue, what happened after you talked to yeah, George? Yeah, once you tap in with Spiegel. What happened to George? Oh, George. Uh, then I spoke with other people about Mark and George, and people keep telling me that Mark is no more in business. It's George, the boss now, of the agency. Well, he's got a lot of girls on his, ta- on his plate. He yeah, needs, he yeah, needs help. The- He's, he's always kind of avoided having a bunch of employees, which is different than the average agent who I would assume has a bunch of employees. Spiegler was kind of slow to like build out his team, I think. So you're still waiting for your chance to talk to him? Yeah, I want to talk to him. Yeah, ah, yeah, what, what, how, it's, uh, how it's finished. The judge told me, let's meet on Avian and speak face to face. 